We thank God for his love. I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. I am still talking about the ability to see. Yada nyamia se. I want it do ehun. Mi chia wo yesu di mu. Mi guswa e kasafa di betume amo huna di ye ehun. Let's hear the heavens report for today. I am the source of wisdom. So if you put me aside, you don't have any wisdom. You will depend on the guidance of my enemies in everything that you do. And that will make you foolish. So if you need wisdom, to outwit the enemy and be successful in everything that you do depend on me and my word and you will have wisdom thus says the Lord Amen. this is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven yenti ene heaven amani bono mini Nyan sign in our father by any nashasia. A nunti sa would de metun chaya. O ni nyan sabia. Would you who betu matam fo a can dear so? I wo a dear yina obey emu. Nano a be mawaye o quassia. A nunti sa wo hiya nyan sa. Na wo timidi a dear tam fo no so. Nama a dear biara, o ye a ye ya, and ye fahuto meso, and ne masemso. Now benya menyansa, said ye a radician. We your sofu, Doctor Kuku Dazi, Mamani Ba, midi free heaven. Last week, I showed you how. Professionals should seek spiritual knowledge and power from God like Luke. Na wotu e tre mono. Mi tre o sed ye. Ni pa wo siyan guma wa di e bi hon. Anase wa kwadre wo e jume bi mono. Hiye hiya se. Wa shi she sun sun mouni mi di e ni tu mi. E fri nya mi ho. E ti se Luka. I want every professional to understand that it is only God who can give you spiritual knowledge and power for the solution of people's problems. Me pese ni pe biara wa kwatre wo adwuma bi mu no eti ase ese e ye nyankopon kwa e de betumi ama wo sunsun mu nimde e ni tumi now they are so nipa how ano. That was what Luke understood. That was why he didn't rely on his physical medical knowledge, but sought spiritual knowledge and God's power. Sa and Luca otiasie enunti na wafane one two. Unamu a dromu nimdia no waso. Nemum or she share so sumu nimdia and in yamitumi eno. That was also the reason that he walked with the apostles. Enua sunti and a ma one a smaphono and antien. He wanted to learn spiritual things and have God's power in him. Na opese o siya sun sun mu niema. Na o nya nyankupon tu mi e wo ni mu. I also told you last week that the apostles didn't rely on Luke as the physician to heal God's people. The apostles themselves healed the people with the word 
of their mouths. So the apostles and Luke relied solely on God's power. Misasuzo kachira o na ochi e chua mono se. Asma fwo na mfa wa huan tu Luke asu se. Na oye o druye fwo a na oyare sa fwo nti. O nu ne se se o sa nyanko pon an kro fwo yare. E ya asma fwo na an kasa. E ne di wama numa se e sa nipano yare. E nu nti asma fwo no e ni Luke. And the one more to nyan kupon to min kwan eso. Therefore, if you claim to be an apostle, but you rely on medical doctors for the healing of your church members, it is a shame on you. The Lord Jesus has not sent you. You don't know God. You are a liar. And unti sa u na usi ese uye osma fo na sa u de umu tu adoku ta fo se umu nensa wasa fu ma yaria weni ma guasi pa eradi Yesu Kristo wasma u unim nyangu pango bebia na uye otrofo you just call yourself an apostle to look big and deceive ignorant people. As many of today's disoriented men fancy calling themselves apostles without knowing what being an apostle entails. Ufrao who say we are small for keke. Said ye be oba ye won kese. Na o dia dada ni pa won ni mi de. Said ye enei e me ma no a wo hu abra bo ne ni su ba bia na e won fe keke. Say we fre fre we hu asma fo, we abra we nim say fre we be asma fo. Say the asiete. If you are really an apostle called by the Lord Jesus Christ, you will understand spiritual things and depend on God's power for the healing of God's people. So we are asma fo pa eradi Yesu Christ a fre wa. And call back to soon soon say mercy. Now they want to. Nyan kupon to me so. Edi asa. Nyan kupon krofon so. Yariye. You will not forbid prayer. To deliver church people. From demonic bondage. Umbra empaiba. Yedi beji asore for a free. Adam money in shesu or ase. You will not do that. Unye sa. If prayer to deliver the oppressed church people from demonic bondage is forbidden, and it is medical doctors who are relied on for the healing of the church people, and you can't see that you are not in God's church, but a human organization, I don't know what is wrong with you. Say, Empire Bar, your body J a sorry for. Wo mu she adamon in she so ase no yabra na mom eye dokuta fo na wo di wo ho ate wo ho so se wo mu na nsa yare e na se won to me hu se enye nyankopa sori mu na wo na mom e ni pada sani ko mu na wo a me nim ne ha opa it is only a foolish church goer who will take an organization that forbids deliverance prayer does not use biblical principles for godly adornments, but allows the members to dress the way they want. And it is doctors whom the members are referred to for healing when they are sick to be a church. Only a foolish church goer would take such an organization to be a church. They are sorry, Konya, where Jimmy Kwan and a Befa Ekua Abraham Paiba, your body Jinipa, a free Adam money in Shesu Asi. No one finds she say, A what Bible more? A fine Yamisumpa, I was here. Nemum, 
o ja safu ma ni se obi an se se no se de onu an kasa pe na esan so so ye adokuta fo e na ya o di asafu ma ni ko ma wo se wo nsa won yare ye wo abra o yare ye no na obe fa sa ko ru se e ya sori di sa sori ko ni awo jimi ko an be sa even a non church goer can tell that such an organization is not a church o bim pokura on kwa sori no o betimi aka se eku e ti sa no e nya sori because if an organization for this prayer says that you can dress the way you want and depends on medical doctors for the healing of its members how can you say such an organization is a church of god yeah, yeah. Hey, how se ko bi abra ogem paye na se o mu se obi atumi shatade e ope ana o se se no se de ope na se ya dokuta fo na se wo mu achi di fo no e yare ya wo nsa wo yare ya adenti na o fre ku eti sa se e nya ko pa so eh it is a human organization that has lowered its standards so that they can get more members and have more money e ye ni pada se ni ku a wa gogo gogo ni emem se de e be ya wo be nya ni pa dudu o de abedom sa ku no na wo nya sika nso so bi that is why such a demonic organization downplays spiritual knowledge and god's power through prayer enuntina adamo ni ku a etisa no etutu sunsun munim die ase eni nyankopon tu min soso a enam mpa abo mu eba no ase no i want today's preachers to comprehend that without spiritual knowledge and power you can't help your followers me pese nei ensempa ka fo ti ase se se woni sunsun munim de ani nyankopon tumi a untumi mwa wachi di fo no and i also want church goers to comprehend that if you follow a preacher who does not have deep spiritual knowledge and god's power you are following an empty human being who uses his carnal mind to do things and he cannot help you in any way ena me pese asor ko fo so so ti ase ese se o din sempa kan ni bi e chi a oni sunsun munim dia mu do pa eni nyankopon to min so a eni na o din ni pa da senia hwe eni ni mu e chi a o de hona ma dwen ena ye na de na on to me mbo o e wo kwan bia eso you and your pastor will always give wrong judgments about spiritual issues de bia woni wo sofu no mo bebu atenchia afa sunsu mo nema ehun that is why you and your pastor think that every death is from god that is why when someone dies in your church you all say that it is god who gives and it is god who takes mm-hmm. and you also think that every dead person went to heaven and is resting in the bosom of the father and you think na money ma sofo no mo gin so wo bia fri nyame na so obi wu e o ma sori no mo mo ka se e ye nyame na di ma na ono an so so e na je na mo san so so gin se ni pa wo wu obi a e ko heaven na ojina home e wo eja na kokumono if you are not in the church where god is present and if you don't follow a preacher who has the holy spirit in him you will live in ignorance give wrong judgment about issues all the time and die in your ignorance and go to hell so one dom asoria nyame wo na wan san so so andi sempaka nia nyame hon kronkron wo ni mu achi a wo betna dia onim de no emu 
na da bia wo bu atanchia afande ma ho na wo wu wo dia unim ne mu na wo dia ko hell ana se jano enum dano emu that was why i told you that as a pastor a church member a medical doctor a professional or even as a citizen you should all have the lord jesus in your lives and one thing I'm catching is, so we hear Osafu, Anase Asafuba, Anase Dokuteni, Anase Obi Awa Kadre Wo Ejume Bimu, Ana Impo, so we hear Tima Muni, it's a semi na Muwo Eradi Yesu Christo Wo Mabrabom, because it is only He. Who can let you understand the world that you live in and give you the power to defeat demons who may disturb you? A son said, A your non qua and a bet to me a more TV as ya o team we as it. Now a son so a mo to me a bet to me di a di a damonia or be how I gain no eso. The Lord Jesus Christ. Is the only one who has the answer to the mysterious things that occur in this world that baffle people. A radi yesu Christo kwa and a wo in Sanoa Obetumidia so a niema a wanwa e si si wo via si ano a ye nipa wanwano. It is he who created the universe. So it is only he who has all the answers. A yo no and a boy we are see. A nun tia yo no kwa and a war and why yina. Demons don't want you to have this spiritual knowledge because that will let you know them and their oppressions and avoid them. Adamo ni mpese ube nyasa sunsumu ni mdiyei. Isanse, enu diye ebe mo wahunu wamu, ene ekwanya wamu fasu di wamu juma na wecha wamoja. That is why it is good to have the Lord Jesus in your life and be in the church where he is present and also follow the pastor who is spiritually knowledgeable so that you can learn spiritual things from him. Enuntina eyese ubenya eradi Yesu Kristo e wo abrabom. Na wa sanso so adom asori a owo mu. Na wa di sofwa owo sunsumu nim de pa achi. Se de ebe ya obesua sunsumu nema afri ne ho. When the Lord Jesus was falsely accused by the chief priest and he was taken to Herod. Herod was exceedingly glad. For he had desired for a long time to see him. Because he had heard many things about him. And he hoped to see some miracles done by him. That was in Luke chapter 23 verse 8. Enuntina. Wabra. a Na wadine koma o hini Herod no. E ye ne ni ji pa se. O shi e radi Yesu Christo. E san se. Na wa pri a shi shi a che. Se na o peso ho no. E san. A wan wan sem pi ya. Na wa ti afan hon ti. Na. O e ni da so se. Na o be hon. En se che ni bi ya. Na e radi Yesu Christo be ye e di a che no. We e luka en sem pa. Ti e di o no me en san. Why was it so? It was because of the spiritual mysteries and miracles that Herod heard about the Lord Jesus Christ. Nay, dear dear, nay, ye so summa hintasem, and ne among us semua, na Herod atiafa eradi Jesus Christo ono entia. And when Apostle Paul was also falsely accused and was taken to King Agrippa, the king was also amazed 
by the deep spiritual knowledge of Paul. And I feel so, Wabra, you charge some too, or smart for Paul so and so so no. Now you didn't come out, he didn't agree, pardon. Or he didn't so so who agree no. I would so so moon him dear name Mudopa. Na na, or smart for Paul, I won. The monarchs and nobles of yesteryears sought for spiritual knowledge because they knew its importance. I him for any a titra, na cane na omo hono. Womo she shares so soon with him, dear. His son said, No moon him here, na na a here. But today's church people don't want to have any spiritual knowledge about God they claim to worship. Now, so soon, nay, I sorry for no. Woman, Pesa, Omu Benya, so soon, moon him, dear, bia, I find Yamia, Omen, I say, say, almost some no, no. All that today's church people want is to get something that will work magic for their businesses to grow and to have more money. That's all. They just want magic for money, not spiritual knowledge about God. The nay are sorry for she shall say, One benya be beer, a bay yen century, and I young kuma di bidiama, one more a juma, and in near my mutona cosso, not woman just cabibre. A nay are sorry for no, one more pen conya, ne monia soon so munim dear. That is why demons are using their surrogates to fool them by letting them drink oil, chew grass, lick Coca-Cola from their shoes, and do all sorts of stupid things they call direction in the name of making money. I don't think Adam and Susu have found Messiah name for so. Edi Jimmy asoroko for pi. Wabra wama wamo nom. Ama. Wamo wingura. Na. Wamo shie coca cola. Egu wamo mpabwasu. No wamo kachira safumansa. Wamo metafri. Na wamo mamo yem kwa siadie pi ya. Wamo frena kwa nchire. Ni ina anise. Wamo di peskantia. That is what happens. If you don't want to have spiritual knowledge. To understand the God that you claim to worship, you will not understand that those things they call direction have no spiritual effect against demons at all. Demons will really fool you. Sa pe 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 nesiu. Sa um pesa ubenya sun sun munim dia. Ebe ma odi ati nyamia una usia se usum no no asia. Unti asiese, saad ni emanwa, wamo frena na kwancheno, sun sumu, enka damoni u, enya wamo we. Unti aseda, ti adamoni be jimi upa. What you don't know is that, those things you call direction, and you apply them on your body, are the things that make you filthy physically and spiritually, for demons to destroy your life. The old name ni se, Sad ni a man who friend a concern, how they kick a kick on nipped your own. A ma we feet, unamu, and a soon somo. Nama a damoni, I say, wabrabo. If you have spiritual knowledge and understanding, no demonic prophet can fool you with the things they call direction. So, who soon summon him, dear pan in Tiasia? A dam on your deep for being to me, fast and near manua. One more friend, a quantreno, and Jimmy would die. But unfortunately, even today's politicians are being fooled by today's false prophets because they are like Pilate who asked the Lord Jesus Christ what is truth. They don't know what is spiritual truth. Na around seven say, import nay a man of one crown. I tried it for Jimmy Wom. It says, over to say, pilot, who be said, Radi Yesu Christo say, a dear name no quarry. It says, Omo nim soon soon no quarry. 
they don't know anything about spiritual things. Woman nim she if a sun sumu nim deal. And if you don't know anything about spiritual truths, how can you lead a nation? Eh? Na se o nim she if a sun sumu no kwa kwa. O ba den where do your mind enim? If false prophets are deceiving people, you cannot tell because you yourself are a victim. So I tried it for a dad and crop for one to me. It's as a one casa so so. Yeah, be a yo. It is very unfortunate. Very, very. Hey, I hope all that today's politicians want is to get some prophecy and some directions that can let them win an election. No wonder that they are being fooled by demonic agents who parade themselves as prophets. That is a very unfortunate situation. The nay am I your four parents say Womu Benyan Komishe and ya country be no more to me dear din kunim ewa batum nyang wangwa se and nay a damon ye see a name mufwa. O my yo mo so mo ye di fo no o mo dada o mo no e ha dwin pa if you understand that spiritual knowledge and understanding are very very important you will go to God's servant who has them so that you can have wisdom and know how to solve every physical problem and make good judgments all the time so who name says so so many name the name Tiasi who in Yapa? Obeko ni anku pa kuwa owo biho. Se debe ya onsu obe ni nyansa na watu me etia so who name mu how biara no na watu me dia bu atempa debia. It was the understanding of the importance of spiritual knowledge and power that moved an influential man like the Roman soldier to go to the Lord Jesus for a spiritual solution when demons tormented a servant and he was dying. Yeah. Wa brana damon e titi na kwa na 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 uwonu. The soldier understood what it was to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. That you will be rich in spiritual knowledge and power. Hallelujah. Amen. You will have spiritual knowledge and see God's power. Hallelujah. Amen. O sran ni ne ti ase se se o ben erade Yesu Christo ana se o erade Yesu Christo nche ya se de na esite se o benya sunsun munim de na wa san so so e hunyan ku pon to me hallelujah amen that was why he went to the lord knowing that he was and still the only one who has spiritual authority over demons that was why he asked the Lord to just speak the word of healing. And the demons who were tormenting his servant would leave him. And that was exactly what happened. When the Lord Jesus spoke the word of healing at that moment, the dying servant was also healed at the same moment at home. And he a year ratty, yes, to Christon Qua, and there was soon some mood to me. A war at that money so. And until no say, rather say, On car, I yar sassin be. Now that money, now all titty, now quan, one mu be jano. Now sa pepper, 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 and a sea. While bread ratty, yes, to Christo car, I yar sassin, sabren, and will be a no mujano. A quanoa, now at that money, titty, no, and no wound. Sabre no answer so, and an hot on of ye. That was the demonstration of spiritual authority 
by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nay, soon, soon, to me, pa, and a radi, yes, Christo, a dana, dino. Yes. You see, the soldier made a right judgment about a physical issue. He knew that it was only spiritual authority that can curb a physical issue. What was it? Osranino, O Busu Sumu at Empapa, a far honemo as a bell. O Tiasia said, Na a soon sumu to me in qua, and an a bit to me a di honemo as a vessel. That is how it's supposed to be. That right judgments should be made about every condition that someone may be in physically. Else, you will not get the right results. Sa pe 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 e ne se se ye. E se se, u bu a tempa. E fa ti bie biara, o bi be komunu, hona mu. A nye sa, u nya en sa noa, e se se u nya no. If the cause of someone's ailment is from the spirit, and you try to cure it physically, it won't work. It will be a waste of time. Se obi yari e fri sun sun mo. Ne se uba o humo din se. Ube sani wo hone mwa. E nye juma. Ebe ya daji se ye kwa. The Roman soldier understood that. Without spiritual authority over demons who are behind the physical condition. Every approach will be human effort. And ineffective. Roman sre ni na ti asiese. Se sun sun mu tumia. Ebe di adamonia. O tare. Hune mu tibie biye chino e niwa. A diye biya obe yeno. Ebe ye nipa da se ni modi mbo. Nen ko si fe. That was why. He asked the Lord to speak authoritatively. Over the demons who were tormenting his servant because he knew that it will have effect physically. And nothing or sre a radi yesu Christo said, On kasa o to me so, en tia adamonia na o ha na kwano. A son said, Na o nim se, a penyan sunsa so o nemo. That is what I want you to understand. Sa ena me pesa o tia se. That was also the reason that it was only upon seeing the Lord Jesus Christ and touching the hem of his garment that the woman who bled continuously for 12 years was healed spontaneously. And you see, why a bra, or banu and a moja tunuo, and visia dumienu. Oko shiye radi Yesu Christo. Na oso na tadi anono. Ena ema onyana yarisa amono no mo anu. It was also the reason that the man who was declared insane in gathering that I talked about last time and was left alone in the hands of those strong demons was also free instantly when the Lord Jesus commanded the demons who were in him to leave him. Enua asunti. Ena be manua. Na omu si wabodam. Ewa gadare enua. Edan mika huwa semu. Na oja enu ma sa adamonia. Na wangu ye dino. Ono susu fan hu di ye. Wa munu muwa. Wa bre radi yesu kristo. She adamonia. Na wano munu se. Wonfri no mu enkonu. These three stories. Should give you understanding. About how to approach physical conditions of people. Sam sem me and say, as I said, Mount Yasia fa a qua be fasu, a wa tibia biara, a nipa becomu, a wa honemu el. That without spiritual knowledge to ascertain the cause of someone's predicament and God's power to deal with it. You can't make people free from demonic oppression and torment. And he said, Se sun sun munim dear, 
au betumi dia hunu dia ye ya hao bia obi e komu no ba ye eni nyankopon tumi a obetumi dia so anu a untumi mani pam fa wo nkodi en free adamo ni hyeso eni wa tete emu without this you will apply physical knowledge to spiritual issues so we in kahwa wo de hunam nim de e be ko sunsun mo asem e hu but if someone suffers from a spiritual disease and you apply physical knowledge to it you can cure the disease na so 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 be yare sunsun mo yare e na so wo de hunam nim de e ko ho a wo timi nsa yare e no that was why the physicians did all that they could but couldn't cure the woman who suffered from hemorrhage for 12 years anuntina ayar safo no ana doctor fo no ye de om betum bia na nso so wo mantumi ansa o ba no na emoja tu no mfinsia dumie no yare no it was because they applied physical knowledge to a spiritual problem ni na se chere ni se wo mu de honam mu nim de e na pe se wo mu de be so sunsun mu how ano the physicians made a wrong judgment about the woman's condition a doctor fo no ebu atenchia e fa oba no tebia oko mu no ehun that is what i want pastors and doctors to understand sana me pese asofo eni adokuta fo etiasie that it is spiritual knowledge that can help you to make a right judgment about someone's condition and help him out that was why i told you last time that it is spirituality that helps to explain physicality and today i am adding another one that it is spirituality that can help you to unravel physical mysteries Amen. let me repeat the two i say it is spirituality that helps to explain physicality and it is spirituality that can help you to unravel physical mysteries Dr. Kuku Dazi said that. And he said, "A yesun sumu nimdi e ne betu mi abua u ama wabu a tempapa afa tibiye biara obi be komu na wabua no ehun." And until ne dano me kache u se, "A yesun sumu nsem e ne be bua ama wetu mi achire hunam nsem asi." Ne ne sumi di baku kahu, me se a yesun sumu nsem. And the bet me abua o ama honam mu adie bia la o ntiasi e no watumi atiasi e me si subi o me si e ye sunsun mu nsem e ne betumi amu achirechire honam mu nsem ase e na e ye sunsun mu nsem e ne betumi ama honam mu nsem so so watumi achirasi e dr kuku dazi ne kai that is what every professional wants to help people spiritually should understand sa ne se se obi ara wa kwadre wo jumadi e bi mu no a o pese o bo ni pa sunsun mu no e se se o ti ase but unfortunately worldly people make wrong judgments about many things na ra wo se ne se e wi ase ni pa e bo atenchia e fa nema pi e ho even regarding human strength they give wrong judgments about it impossible ni pada sene aho den ho a o mu bu atenchia e fa ho many people think that it is physical exercise that sustains their lives that is why they go to the gym daily and that is a wrong judgment enipa pi ejin se eye honam apomutretene ena betumi amawanyini ache 
enu ntina o mo sori ade bia e o mo ko ba bia di mfidi ye bebere agugu a eni pa ko tretre o mo apom e wo ho no na enu so so e atentia because bodily exercise profits a little as apostle paul told timothy in first timothy chapter 4 verse 8 na enu so so ni pedua apom tretre no and the emphasis was so a kitty way. Said your small for Paul, can't say Timothy. I will Timothy, Mumma Dikaino, Tina, and Chichemon Wachino. It is godliness that is profitable for all things. A young Missumpa and emphasis was so a wadia yamu. So I want those who are of that notion to understand that. It is the Holy Spirit who gives strength and sustains life. Mm -hmm. It is not your bodily exercise. And unto me, person, one more, one more side, you know, TSS, a young man who crunk crunk and a ma ordain. Now, obey to me, a more yinache, and yet, oh, one more, a poor more at return. It is God who gives strength. Our strength is from Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So it is wrong to think that visiting the gym regularly is what will give you strength and sustain your life. I don't tell him from so as our bed jeans, eh? Said there be a uko dino, I didn't feed you a bread gubuno. I got tetra wapo moa. And no, and a bemoa wode na moa yinache. That is putting God aside to think that going to gym is better than going to church. And with the now the yame tum chain. Now, what jeans, eh? Se uko dino. Ye dim fidye bebre e gubu nuko tretre wapo mwa. E ye che e se obe kwa sore. And interestingly, that is the judgment of many people. That is why they don't want to go to church. But prefer to be in the gym. Ne ni kansem ni se. Sa ni a te mwa e ni pa bebre e bo. E yo o ma jwin se. E ye se. O mbe kwa sa da yinu mako tretre wapo mwa. E nun ti no mwa pe se o mbe kwa sore. But I know someone who went to the gym regularly to exercise, but died whilst exercising in the gym. What will you say about that? Nan su su mini mo bia. Na de bia, o kos ha dae noa. Ye di mfidiye be brea gu mo noa. O be tu mi akwa tretre wapo mo no kwa tretre na po mo. Nan su su wa bra na o kos ha dae no moa. Na o tretre na po no mo no. En wo uye. That should inform you that it is not bodily exercise that sustains human life. As I said, no kasa chile wo se, e nye nipa po mwa de biya obe tine tine mwono, e no, e ne, e ma nipa e nye che. So if your judgment is that, if you exercise regularly and if you don't even go to church or have God in your life, it is better because that will give you strength to go to work. Your judgment is wrong. I don't say what I say. I say, I don't say what I say. 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 Why? You don't know the source of human strength and the breath of life. Unim bebi ni pa hu odin ene enkome no efri. It is only God who can give you strength and sustain your life. E yamen ko an e beti me ma hu odin na wa ma wanyini ache. That is what the Lord Jesus wants you to understand. So that you will make a right judgment about the source of your strength and not put him aside to depend on your flesh. 
Sana eradi Yesu Kristo pesa oti asye. Se di ebe ya, ube buwa tempa. Afa bebiya, wa huwa din efri, ehun. Na wa mfana ntonche in. Na wa mfa wa huwa nto, uho namso. That judgment, to depend on your flesh, will put you in a curse. Because God says that, curse is the man who makes flesh his strength. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Saate mwonoa, ebe ma odi o huwato o honam suno, e di ube kono mim, isan se nyanko ponsi, e no min ka nipe biara, o de ne honto honam su se, e no, e ne na honwa den. Jeremiah ngomano, ti don son, chiche mwonom. That will make your heart depart from God. E no ube ma wakuma, a chien fri, e rade won. And I want you to understand that if you put God aside, nothing can give you strength. Now me pesa o tia siye se, sa o di nyame tu nche ya, bi biya anti me mawa wadi. Hey, you can build a very big gym and exercise 10 hours a day. You can also have all the demonic kingdoms in your body. If you don't have the Holy Spirit in your life, you don't have strength. You can die easily because you don't have the source of life in you. Ube to me, I see a dinoa, you didn't feed your gumonoa, your cottage, your pomono, can see a pa. Now the pia do hurry, a do, what cottage, what pom, a woman. Adamoni ahini eni hila upa mwomu metra uni pedu emu. Se u ninya me u krum krum ewa umua. U niya huwa dimbia. U beti me u fwa sokra. Isan se u ni bebi em kwa frino ewa umu. Have you heard about people who were deeply in the occult and suffered before they died? Have you heard about such people? Why was it that the demons in them or they depended on couldn't give them strength or prevent them from dying? Yeah. Why? Eh? Mm. It is because they didn't have the source of life in them. Eh? What did that? Say, ne ni pebro wa no mu dom suma siko no mu dom suko pa ne su su omu bre pa ansa no omu wo. What did that? I didn't think that that money no, ne titi wo mono. I now say, what do you want to want so no? And to me, I'm a one more day. I now say, when see a woman, I know why I'm a one. You know, I see children say, now we must need baby, need pan coffee no, a woman. So if you don't understand that God is the only source of strength, but you want to depend on demons or trust in your body. You are deceiving yourself. And when you say, "Oh, ti asie se," niam kupon kwa ena wahu odi freno. Ne mo odi wu tu adamo ni so anase uni pedu aswa u dada wahu. Change your mind because demons are not the source of your strength in life. God is the only source of human life. If you put him aside, you are without strength and you don't have any life. Yes. That is the right judgment I want you to make. Sister Wajin, his son said, and you are down on the moon, and now I'm holding anyone who can't free back. You're not going to be able to do anything and you're not going to be able to do anything. So, you're not going to be able to do anything. Na uni mkwanso. Sani ya temwa. Bipese ubu. So if you are wise. Let my Lord Jesus be everything to you. And you will have bodily strength. And eternal life. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Enu ntisa uye nyansenia. Mamiura Yesu Christo. Nyawadi ya nyina haa. 
na obenya honam apomden pa ene dam kwanso ewo yesu dinti amen if you want to have bodily strength and eternal life give your life to my lord jesus christ as you pray this prayer with me and after that i always say come to church and let me train you properly about how to live holy to please god so who pese unya honam apomden pa na unya dan kwansoa fa homa mira yesu christo wa bra wona me boss ampaye na de bia me ka se no achi no bra sorry na me ntiti wo kwan a wo be fa so wo be bo kronkron bra bo e dia hye no eno nya lord jesus i read this i thank you for speaking to me today me da was say so wa ka sa chere me ne i accept that i am a sinner me ji tu se me ye de bo ye ni but from this day forward na so e fi ne rekure i believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus you are the only lord forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life let your holy spirit dwell in me and i'll live a holy life to praise you Thank you for saving me. That was so I gave me. In Jesus name. Oh yes, Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people for them to understand that you are the only source of strength and life so that they would depend solely on you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. That so we should share each other quite so. Now, person will need a bit more. Yeah, we can see, can see main road. Ah, it's a chronic thing. No, say abatua no. And now my uncle no, he will answer me come so. The first so, we must feeling station is be to a to a so. Feeling station now, a to a so me no no. A quiet and in chain we stand in conform. Now conform our cosy form chain and come be 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 ma. We must say we need first so. Holy Land, no, ewo ho. Na, ene kwe si ada no peyi, e sunu ye, no unkunum. Ukuada, e nyumri no unum ni fansu, e ye, Bible at this year. Sa, ne fi ada, e nyumri no unum ni fansu, e ye, Bible. E ne, papa, kambro, fubi, e ye, mi depa. O se, it is spirituality, that can help you to unravel physical matters. Na, aya, asem, ke si e pa, na ni pa ye wo wi ase especially nyame asofo ana nyame ne musifo o ba asase so wo ma jini o mo se eye eni so e na ye ni dipetile ni ina ne se nyame fre ho na se nyame afre ho a ye wo hu hu mo asem ye wo hu ne mo asem adie bi o ho a uti wo se ye hu hu mo asem pa se obi ba so da ye na de bia na obi di aba chese no no be sori na ne hunam nyina bia bia na so won fa ko hospital ana won fa ko blue doctor se wo ko na ye ma na dro ana se ye tiriti wi a na ho hum na wo ba be chese na na you know be jaya na na wa pam no wo pam no enti se asori ekko se so fu ni nim nim die ho hum mu na won ni to me so o de be bo ne ma ni ho hum mu a bi ni ado fu we still with time e san se yesu nya me ho ho mu ene ne kure mu na nya me a o ya ho ho ma yesu no ho ho mu ne tamfo a ho ho ma ne no so ene ne pe di ese ho ho mu na so se asam na etete me no ye ho ho ma se na o se me fa kokoko ho obi a o ye ho ne mu a di e ho a na o pa chere de se ho ho mu no bad and matter mu no wa ka sa wudi me ne mu ni ho ho mu tumi bia e no na wo ye sa no 
who deceive me? So, Cassa, me and Quavi Mura, me and Quano Manwabi, and Quano Monsubi, now home home the Bequa. Missy can now pay dear, now I say, when you are home home, but then I am back when I per se, a home home near Tata Miso, and Gusua Tata Miso, or Sophua will say, Yam Rampaibo, and now say, Yen ya home money to two, or Sophua, we ye. Oh, money, I see a name, oh, yen, ya, me, see a name, and we see only under foot too hopeful. And yes, sir, over quack or tabling. There, ya, be shall, pa, amen. Amen, mamma. Onya, a sorry echo, and in ya, me, a chidi. If you home, money, a debahunem, and it is oko trans sorry, or one tea, oh, mercy. Oh, crunk, crunk, cry, ni demoa. Who say what that ye qua? Uncle baby, ya, me, what Obeso o ko bebe nya me wo o heavena tna sori nya me wo a be mo ate sunsun mo nsem a obetumi dia ba wo na mu abrabo my dear church or being with god is about spirituality so if you want to understand spiritual things you should not be in a church where god is not present you have to be in the church where god is present so that you understand spiritual things for you to know how to live your life physically. Yes. Else, if you don't do that and you just join any church where even the Holy Spirit is not present, you are wasting your time. You will not be with God or go to where God is in heaven. So if you want to be with God, be in the church where God is present that will let you understand spiritual things and know how to live your physical life. That is what action power is about. God is present. He is teaching people about spiritual things. And his power is present to deliver his people from every demonic bondage. That is why God wants me to tell the whole world that with God... All things are possible. God bless you. Bless you.